This week we're going to answer a question that one of the folks in the Closebrace Slack workspace had. What's the difference between errors and exceptions? By the way, want to come hang out in the Slack channel? It's open to the public. Just email contact at closebrace.com asking for an invite. Anyway, the difference between errors and exceptions in JavaScript is... Nothing! There are just two words for the same thing. Sweet! With that answered, let's call it a week and I'll see you next time. Okay, sure. We can do better than that. So, what do I mean when I say there's no difference? Well, basically it just means the two terms are synonymous. In fact, JavaScript has no real concept of an exception. All it handles are errors, which you can produce like this. Save that. Refresh. And we get our error message. We talked about the error constructor and how it works in JS Quick Hit 68 and JS Quick Hit 69. So if you need a refresher, that's the place to check. Now, by convention, what I just did was throw an exception. What I mean is, some developers like to make the distinction between when your code blows up because you did something wrong, and when you intentionally throw an error in order to catch unwanted behavior. So, this is an error. If we save that, we will get a big, ugly, red error. Because you're trying to change a const, so JavaScript is going to yell at you. You're not generating the error yourself, you just wrote broken code. So that's an error. Now this, this is an exception. Save that. Refresh. Ah, it helps if you actually format your if statements correctly. There we go. Much better. Now, it makes the most sense, obviously, if you're setting input via, say, a web form or something, rather than a const right above a clearly broken piece of code. Nonetheless, what we're doing here is intentionally throwing and handling an error. And the intentional part is what makes it an exception. This is good to know, just so you can better understand what other developers are talking about when you're copying and pasting their code off Stack Overflow. Uh, I mean, chatting with them. That's all there is to errors and exceptions, for real this time. See you next week.